Tesla just flipped the switch on their 55,000-ton gigapress at Texas, and the numbers are insane. This machine slashes $800 off every car's cost, enough to make a $25,000 Model 2 profitable while competitors bleed money trying to match it. It cranks out complete underbodies in 90 seconds versus their 200-second crawl. But here's the shocking truth buried in the data. Legacy automakers need $300 million and five years just to build one copycat press. Is Tesla's lead now unbeatable? Let's dive right in. Walk into Giga Texas right now, and you'll see something the auto industry thought was science fiction. A 55,000-ton hydraulic press, taller than a three-story building, slamming shut with 110 million pounds of force. That's not a typo. 110 million pounds crushing molten aluminum at 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit into a single piece that replaces what used to be 70 separate parts. Tesla's first gigapress back in 2020 was 6,000 tons. Impressive for its time, sure. But this new beast delivers nine times the clamping force. What changed in five years to make this quantum leap possible? The answer is buried in physics most automakers ignored. At 55,000 tons, the press injects aluminum under 15,000 PSI, 50% higher than previous generations, maxed out at 10,000 PSI. This extreme pressure keeps the molten metal liquid 18% longer during injection. Why does that matter? Because aluminum starts solidifying the instant it touches the mold. At lower pressures, it hardens before filling complex corners and ribs, creating weak spots that turn into cracks years later. Tesla's engineers call this forced fill dynamics, basically forcing the metal to stay fluid long enough to penetrate every microscopic detail of the mold before crystallizing. The result is molecular uniformity that welded frames can't touch, even with perfect welds. But here's where it gets crazy. The press now casts entire underbodies measuring 300 inches, that's 25 feet long, in a single shot. The old 9,000-ton version topped out at 236 inches. Ford and GM are still welding together sections that size because their presses can't handle the thermal stress of larger molds. Tesla's dual 10,000 PSI hydraulic circuits distribute force across a 1,000-square-foot mold, reducing stress points by 40%. Translation, their castings survive crash tests at 25% higher rates than segmented welded frames. How much is that worth when your family's in the car? Now, let's talk about what Tesla isn't advertising. Dual-zone vacuum-assisted injection. Sounds boring until you understand what it does. Traditional presses vent gases at 80% efficiency, leaving tiny air bubbles trapped inside the casting. Those bubbles weaken the metal by 15% in crash tests. A fatal flaw if you're promising customers a safer EV. Tesla's system pulls 28 inches of mercury at the outer edges and 24 inches at the core creating a pressure gradient that sucks gas pockets toward vents instead of trapping them. This is technology borrowed from casting jet engine turbine blades, where a single void at 30,000 feet means catastrophic failure. Tesla's internal logs leaked in Q3 2025 show void ratios under 0.5%, down from 15% in their 2017 prototypes that had scrap rates forcing engineers to redesign the entire process. The castings now use 6061T6 aluminum with 45,000 PSI yield strength, up from 35,000 PSI in multi-part welded assemblies. They resist heat warping up to 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit versus 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit for stamped steel. But the real kicker? 
fatigue life. Stamped parts crack after 150,000 miles under normal driving loads. These castings endure 250,000 miles at 7G forces, verified through finite element analysis by IDRA, the Italian company that built the press. Tesla's fleet telemetry backs this up. 98.7% uptime compared to 92% for competing EVs. Is this why Tesla offers longer warranties while competitors hedge their bets? Cycle time is where legacy automakers are getting destroyed. Previous Giga presses took 120 to 150 seconds per cast with 20% downtime for cooling. This monster does it in 75 to 90 seconds using adaptive servo hydraulics from Aerospace Tech. At Giga Texas running 20-hour shifts, that's 1.2 million underbodies annually enough for 600,000 Model 2s. GM's Ultium platform? Still chugging at 200 seconds per part. The math is brutal. Tesla can build three cars in the time GM builds one. And here's the twist nobody saw coming. Those modular die inserts with three D-printed cooling channels? They last 150,000 cycles versus 50,000 for old dies. Embedded channels reduce hot spots by 40 degrees Fahrenheit, dropping tooling costs from $1.5 million per set to $900,000. That savings goes straight into making the Model 2 affordable, while competitors burn cash replacing worn-out equipment. Let's connect the dots to that $25,000 price tag. Traditional stamping lines cost $2.50 per pound of material and require 200 workers just in Michigan. The Giga Press slashes that to 75 cents per pound. A conventional welded chassis needs 70 parts, $3.4 million in tooling, and 40 hours of labor. The Giga Press? One $6 million machine, $1.2 million in tooling, 10 hours total. That's $800 saved per car confirmed in Tesla's Model Y data showing 28% gross margins even with older 6,000-ton presses. Scale this to the Model 2, and suddenly selling a profitable EV under $11,000 isn't fantasy. It's manufacturing reality. Hyundai is already testing this for their 2027 Ionic, projecting $500 million in annual savings. If they're scrambling to copy Tesla, what does that tell you? Traditional methods require 1.2 tons of steel per chassis sourced from 50 suppliers, a logistical nightmare vulnerable to disruptions. Remember when China restricted rare earth exports in 2010? Automotive supply chains took 18 months to recover. Tesla's Giga casting uses 0.8 tons of aluminum from five suppliers with materials localized at their factories. Their Q3 2025 report shows a 25% reduction in freight costs, saving $450 million. More importantly, they use standardized 6061T6 alloy across all castings, meaning they can source from any qualified supplier worldwide. Material testing drops from months to days. If one supplier goes dark, Tesla pivots in under 90 days. Can Ford say that when a Tier 2 supplier in Malaysia shuts down and leaves Detroit plants idling? Here's something dealers don't want you knowing. Underbody repairs for welded frames average $1,800 after a 30-mile-per-hour crash. For Gigapress vehicles, Modular swaps cost $600 with 50% less downtime. You're not welding and grinding for days. You're unbolting and replacing. Toyota just invested in 30,000-ton presses for their 2026 EV lines. But Nikki reports they're 18 months behind Tesla's timeline. By the time they catch up, Tesla will have produced millions of units with this cost advantage. Is this why Tesla's resale values stay high while competitors depreciate faster? 
Analysts estimate replicating this system costs $200 to $300 million and takes three to five years. That's Tesla's monopoly window. While GM's Ultium platform bleeds 15% market share, Tesla's Model Y assembles in 10 hours versus 30 for competitors. The first Model 2 castings are already being tested under loads that buckle traditional frames. Mass production for 2026 is locked in. Legacy automakers are trying to retrofit 50-year-old factories while Tesla churns out underbodies at speeds the industry hasn't seen. The gap isn't closing, it's widening. So which breakthrough matters most to you? Drop one if it's the $600 repair costs. Drop two if it's the 250,000 mile durability. Drop three if it's the 10-hour assembly making the Model 2 real. Your vote shapes our next analysis. So here's what it all means. That $300 million and five-year gap isn't just a head start. It's a moat. While Ford and GM toured Giga Texas and went radio silent, Tesla locked in suppliers, trained crews, and started cranking out castings that'll power 600,000 affordable EVs annually. The answer to whether their lead is unbeatable? Look at the math. By the time competitors build one copycat press, Tesla will have produced 3 million underbodies with this cost advantage baked in. But this is just the opening move. The 55,000-ton press proves something bigger. Manufacturing innovation now moves faster than legacy automakers can adapt. What comes next? Tesla's already testing 70,000-ton prototypes in Italy. If this machine made $25,000 EVs possible, what does the next generation unlock? $20,000? $15,000? The tipping point where gas cars become the expensive option isn't decades away anymore. It's years. What do you think breaks first? Tesla's production capacity or competitors' ability to catch up? Drop your prediction below. This is Tech Revolution, and we break down the tech reshaping transportation. Hit subscribe for the next chapter in this manufacturing war. The assembly lines are already moving. The question is whether you'll be watching or driving. What comes next? Tesla's $10,979 Model 2 is finally possible. And it all comes down to one machine China desperately wants but cannot replicate. The 50,000-ton Gigapress casts an entire underbody in 90 seconds, slashing costs by 40% and replacing 300-plus parts with just one. Chinese manufacturers have 9,000-ton copies Yet they're stuck, unable to crack Tesla's SpaceX-engineered aluminum alloy that needs zero heat treatment. What's the secret formula that's keeping the world's manufacturing giant locked out? Let's dive right in. Here's where things get crazy. Tesla's first Gigapress was already mind-blowing at 6,000 tons, replacing 70 parts in the Model Y's rear section with a single aluminum casting. The industry called it revolutionary, but Tesla wasn't done. They pushed to 9,000 tons for the Cybertruck's rigid frame, demanding extreme geometric precision. Now they've unleashed a 50,000-ton beast that's 8.3 times more powerful than the original. And it's not just bigger. It's fundamentally different. This machine weighs 420 tons, stretches 20 meters long, and houses seven simultaneous molds casting complete underbody frames every 90 seconds. The numbers are staggering. 40 to 45 castings per hour. Nearly 1,000 parts.